CTE, or chronic traumatic encephalopathy, is a neurodegenerative pathology found in the brains of individuals who have suffered from repetitive traumatic brain injury. So this traumatic brain injury includes both concussions as well as subconcussive hits. So CTE uh, has been characterized in professional athletes, uh, particularly boxers and professional football players. So in the National Football League, um, athletes that have been studied for CTE pathology, over 90% of them have CTE pathology in their brains. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to look at the brains of individuals who maybe didn't play sports at the professional level, played in either high school or college. So what we did is we looked through our brain bank, uh, looking through 1,700 cases, um, and looking for anybody who had played contact sports during their lives. We found that roughly a third of our athletes had CTE pathology in their brains. So this finding is important not only for determining the frequency of CTE pathology in amateur athletes, um, but it's also important in raising awareness and promoting these precautionary measures uh, to limit head-to-head -head, uh, trauma in contact sports. It's still so early in the research for CTE that we can't say, you know, X number of head injuries causes this neurodegenerative pathology. Um, that's research that we're going to need to uncover going forward. Um, the takeaway for you know, this research for today is just that it's a more common finding than one might think. I like to think of sports as you know, a very positive thing. I mean, it's, it's very important for you know, promoting cardiovascular health, development, um, fostering positive social interactions. Um, but there are some risks to contact sports. Um, it's important that we start to limit uh, head injuries uh, in sports. Um, and to that extent, uh, measures are being taken to sort of reduce these traumatic brain injuries. Um, there's less helmet-to-helmet -helmet hits in professional football. Uh, individuals who play soccer are, aren't heading the ball as much. Um, so these are important you know, preventative steps to try and reduce uh, the formation of CTE pathology. So my hope is that people uh, who read this study uh, understand that this is a more common finding than uh, one might suspect. Um, this is a neurodegenerative pathology, and the frequencies of neurodegenerative pathologies are relatively low in the general population. So when we see that 32% of the individuals in our brain bank uh, have CTE pathology, um, it's, uh, this is important to kind of raise awareness for CTE. And our hope is that in the future, we can use this information to develop uh, biomarkers and uh, neuroimaging tools to find this pathology while the individual is still alive.